folks this is Scott again at Saudi Hills with our weekly update I I trust that you're doing well that you're hanging in there um, I'm sitting here by the bell um, because this is a pretty significant part of the history of our camp um, the story is told that back in 1987 the original dining hall caught on fire and a propane tank was trying was being moved with a bulldozer and it actually caught on fire so the driver jumped off the bulldozer while it was moving and the bulldozer and the propane tank while it was on fire are moving uh, down toward this direction and by God's grace they stopped both of them right here in this spot no one was injured and uh, the tank w was saved all that so we are thankful and at that moment they knew that was a God story that they wanted to give him the, the credit and the glory for uh, protecting the camp uh, so uh, this bell was put here it was donated by Wheelersburg Baptist Church back in the day and the theme of the camp was written here all to the glory of God if you have been here at all and eaten a meal you know before we pray we recite 1 Corinthians 10 31 1 Corinthians 10 31 whether therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do do it all to the glory of God Gary Nancy Storm uh, created that motto and that theme verse when they came to the camp back uh, in the late 70s and it's been our heart cry and our heartbeat uh, ever since it is what drives our staff today we believe that and we live it and as we look at these difficult decisions coming up we want to make sure that regardless of what we do we want to do it for the glory of God as you know we've got some tough decisions and if you've been looking here we um, are deciding that May 5th is going to be DSC day decision summer camp day for us and we covet your prayers we're excited that uh, Governor DeWine is beginning to reopen the state. Um, we're excited about that. Uh, however, there's no directions yet given for camps. Uh, the CDC tells us that it'll be another two to three weeks before they give guidelines. And uh, we are committed to making the decision for the sake of our staff and preparing for camp, for our summer staff, our seeker teams, for our families and for our campers. Um, we've been working hard to examine all the different possible questions here as this day uh, uh, approaches. We want to know what the ones who are registered for camp think. So we have created a survey. It came out last week to every family that was registered for the summer. And we've had a great response. We thank you for that. If you've not done that yet, please do that before Friday when we calculate, uh, tally the results. We uh, have two meetings planned this week with some of our key churches to talk to them about our plans for the summer. Two Zoom meetings. One is on Wednesday at uh, 2 o'clock and one is the other one is on Friday at 10 o'clock. Um, we're hoping to hear from our church leaders. Um, we also have some more Triple CA National Camp Conference meetings. We have a statewide Ohio uh, Zoom meeting on Friday. We will be working hard this Saturday and Sunday to present a plan to our board who will be meeting on Monday and then we will be making the announcement on May 5th. Um, in the meantime, just so you know, we've canceled the uh, annual work weekend there in the second week of May. Uh, we may have some individuals come down and work with some of our guys uh, to finish some projects. We could use that kind of help, but nothing official. Uh, we talked about maybe trying to reschedule the men's retreat, and uh, that's not going to happen. Lord willing, we can do something like that in fall, uh, in the fall. And then finally, uh, here today, we are changing the 10 minutes at 10 o'clock with Mr. Scott devotional to one day a week. But uh, we love you. We are praying for you. Uh, we are praying for our country and our leaders, and we believe God is going to sustain us and that through this whole thing, we'll be able to have lots of God stories that we'll be able to say all to the glory of God. We love you. Have a great day. We'll see you.